Hello, I'm Lucy Brazier. I'm the CEO of March and Publishing and we publish Executive Secretary magazine. I'm here to talk to you about the World Administrators Summit and how I got involved and why I did and why you should too. Let me tell you the story. Right at the very beginning of when I started the magazine, I met with Eth Lloyd in London to ask her whether she would become a member of my editorial board. She was visiting from New Zealand. And over the course of that lunch, she talked to me about World Administrators Summit. It's not a conference, it's a working meeting, and it's the equivalent of the G8 for our profession. So it had been happening every three years since 1991, and every three years the heads of the associations from all over the world got together to talk about what was important to the profession. It seemed to me to be an amazing, amazing event, and I was more than delighted to become involved. And as the IOTSA, International Year of the Secretary and Assistant Ambassador, I spread the word about what was going to happen with World Administrators Summit after IOTSA was over. So it was a total honour when Eth asked me whether I would chair the World Summit in 2015 in Papua New Guinea. And at that meeting, we shook down all the issues of the day and came up with some really important things that needed to be driven moving forwards and started doing some research into them so that by the time we got to Frankfurt in 2018, we had some really core things to work on. These things were looking at career progression, which I'll come on to more in a moment, looking at bullying, at technology, at how the profession is perceived and at credentialing. Now to me, my pet subject and the one that I am most passionate about is this career progression piece. And that is because I feel that it is the key to professionalising our great profession. It isn't a job anymore, as Melba Duncan is really keen on saying, it is now a profession and we want to be treated as such. But with 162 job titles in this marketplace at the moment, it's very difficult to work out how you go from A to B to C. So for six years now, the World Administrators Summit has done really in-depth research into job titles right the way across the world and into what it looks like in terms of getting assistance into a career progression that we might roll out worldwide. It became quite clear that there was no way we were going to be able to put job titles in place or job descriptions because there were so many of them and they're so diverse. So what we have ended up doing is coming up with a skills matrix and looking at five different levels of assistant with a level one being the most junior and a level five being an exceptional, really senior assistant who is on the verge of, if not already, a chief of staff. So, how will it work? Well, the idea is that we pull, put skill sets underneath each level, and what this means is that as an assistant, you are able to see where you fit within that matrix. It means if you're moving from one job to another and there is a vacancy being advertised, you will be able to see whether it's a vacancy at your level. You'll be able to see if you're going on training, whether that training suits your level. And it also means if you're going for a job anywhere in the world, whether you're moving from London to New York or from Brazil to Singapore or wherever you happen to be, everybody understands what the levels look like. Now, the great thing is also that when we have done our research, we have discovered that the executives have no clue what they're trying to employ half the time either. So what this does is it puts all of that into perspective and hopefully means that they will understand what you're capable of when they employ you. All good, all round. So where do we go from here? Well, World Administrators Summit has always wanted for you to be part of it and we are absolutely committed to you having your voice. But your voice can't be heard unless you take part. So, the next World Administrators Summit is taking place in May 2021 in Wellington and we want you to watch out for the communications about that. There will be surveys coming out, there will be opportunities for you to put your point of view forward and there are opportunities for three delegates from each country 
to attend and to make sure that your country is represented. I shall be facilitating again and I am very much looking forward to meeting as many of you as I possibly can there, along with my co-facilitators, with F and with assistants from all over the world who will also be representing their countries. So, make sure that you're following us, mark your calendars for May 2021 and we hope to see you there.